Hello YouTubers. I've had this story going on in my head for the last two days. It's the reason why I couldn't sleep last night. This is one of my diaries. My latest diary. I don't know how many I've got. That I've used actually. I don't know how many I've used. I think I've got around 40 odd as backups that I know of. Um, I don't ever get more from Sino or friends or anything. Anyway, the story that's been going on in my head it's because there's this person on YouTube. Everyone has these crushes, but I think it's getting a bit serious because I even dream about them now. In my head, I know it'll never happen. He doesn't even know I exist. But there's this person that is part of Outside Xbox or was it Outside Extra? One of the two. But they do collab together. As well as with Dice Baker. Um, and one other, per one other group. Um, I can't remember what the other one is. Um, but his name is Luke Westaway. I first watched him when he was playing as Dob in the first ever Dungeons and Dragons and he made me laugh and made me happy and I had only just broken up with a certain somebody so I needed it he was there to, to make me happy when I was at my one of my lowest so whenever I see him, I always pretend I'm saying hi Luke and how you doing and feeling that he has no idea I exist. So this bit is is safe for children. But I will in the comments but a time code of when to stop watching because it has two different endings actually they're both safe because it was an ending that I'm not gonna say there was a really bad ending, but I'm not going to say. So they're both safe for what it is. Safe for children. Anyway. So. The what if story with ending one. Uh, starts with me doing my usual thing, watching his YouTube. He's busy playing D&D as Dob and the adventure finishes and at the end because they finished a little bit early they tell us about what's coming up and it just so happened that they have a meet and greet coming up where they live in London um, but it's a two day th it's a two day thing and they've got three things going on those two days they have a day where they're going to play D&D. So you get to watch them play D&D live. Then you get to... What is it? You get, you get to have something signed by all the cast. Um, and then, on the final day... Oh, yeah, the final day. It depends how they work this out. Um, you gotta ask them a question, but the question will cost you extra. You have to go VIP for the question to get a number as well. So you have to be in the, you have to be the right person in the queue to. So, so, so I jump at the chance. I, if I don't have the money, I get the money from Count uh, Carol. But I jump at the chance, um, and I buy the tickets. I go VIP and everything. I even push the boat out and buy some 
off-center merch um, in my size. Luckily, by the time this actually comes around, I lost weight. So I fit in a 18 so I can actually buy um, a lot of their merch, which is like a t-shirt and a jumper, all with their merch on. Um, or whatever they have put up back um, then. Um, I buy tick. I buy hotel tickets because I'm staying over for the whole two days. I buy train tickets. I and I go alone as well because nobody else knows um, who Luke Cass, Luke Westaway, or the others are, um, and I don't really care to be honest. I'm not that cup of tea. Um, anyway, so I go. And unfortunately, I can only afford one t shirt and one jumper. So, for the two separate days, I wear the t shirt one day and then the jumper the next. Because, like I said, I can only afford one of each. Um, or whatever they have then. Anyway, it comes to the question. And it does get vetted first. So, no, in the Appropriate questions, but it doesn't get vetted that much. So like, what's the question? It's only half listening. Okay, you can ask him. It doesn't get vetted that badly. Um, so you would think me, who's had a crush on Luke for at least six months now. I think it's been since March. I think. Oh, it might even be from earlier, I can't actually remember, but at least since March, since the lockdown. The first one. That, you'd think my question would be like, can I have your number? No. I didn't want to be that personal. So I said to him, can I have your email? Because I didn't want to be that personal. And they were like, and Luke, in my mind, because like I said, it's a story. Um, he looks at me and it was like at first sight, not love, it was like at first sight and says, yeah, sure, come up here and I go up and he hands me a piece of paper and it's got his email on it and I'm nervous and I'm shaking and I am so close to Luke, I could just pull him and kiss him. That's how close I am, but I don't, I resist because I'm not that kind of person. I take what he gives me and I just carry on with my day and so the day. So does he. So the day. I wait to the following day because I want him to pack up and get home safe in it and so I'm not hounding him. So I email him. I says, is this Luke West away from um, outside Xbox to um, this is Emily and um, this is my email address um we met at the meet and greet yesterday um i just want to make sure i got the right email he responds not straight away because he's busy um but he does respond and he says yes this is me um and we get chatting we chat for about a month back and forth whenever we can catch each other because with him with his YouTube work and me with my drama group, it's hard to catch each other. Um, and I don't really check my emails that often. And that's a pro and actually I did since my schools. Um, it evolves to phone numbers, and that's when it evolves from friendship to relationships. We start going out with each other, and we chat for about a month via text. Because I want to keep it secret. So overall, we've been chatting back and forth for about two months. So it's still early days. Um, so after we chat for another three, four months, so it's six months in total, um, I kind of think it's going to be serious. Actually, that's no, three months. We've been chatting for about three months. We plan that I go see him. Because I'd rather go see him than him see me. So I buy the tickets. I I 
arranged to meet him at a, a, a specific place um, and, he, and he turns up and we go on dates because I'm, I'm there for a long weekend, I can't be there for a week, I'm there for a long weekend and he takes me back to my hotel, it's a proper gentleman And then the following month, he comes to me, um, I see him back to his hotel. So then we keep going back and forth, and this goes on. So then it does turn into six months in total. We've been going out for five, friends for one, in the beginning. Um, so yeah, we haven't even said I love you to each other yet. Um... Until the week, until something drastic happens one week. So we go to each other's every month, like I said. Once one week, something drastic happens, and I have to tell Lou. Um, but the leader of Spectrum invites me to fill in for. Because I need a female actress to fill in a part. It's been a good seven months, I think, since I last spent any time watching him. Yes. Watching his videos and talking about him. So it's been a good seven months. So I'm into the seventh month of the relationship. Since... And I saw his videos, last talked about him, so I'm getting that it'll be an old boy. So I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. I'm not even bothered that the reason I left is still there. I'm not that bothered anymore, because I've moved on. And I know my best friend's there as well, because she's still there. Anyway. I fill in and everything, I tell Luke, and I tell him when the play's on. And he says, um, he can't make it because he's doing some work with his group on YouTube that day. Um, I understand. So I'm gutted, but I understand. But he surprised me with something, though. Because it takes a long time to actually to be given a script to perform so it takes a good month to two months from given script to actually perform and so during that time we have been back and forth visiting each other and one of the times he came to see me and when he came to see me um, we were in bed together and we had just finished watching his latest YouTube video because um we do that sometimes we watch his channel i'm like i'm actually sitting there i'm actually lying next to him it's like all my dreams have come true and everything and i'm just in awe that i'm actually in bed with this man and um he says do you love this man out of the actually no he doesn't he says i know something about that man he's pointing to himself I'm like, what? What do you know about that man? He's in love with the woman lying next to him. And I'm like, what? He says, I'm in love with the woman lying next to him. And I turn to him and I'm like, you love me? He's like, yeah, I love you. And I'm like, I love you too. And I don't tell you what happens after that. But <laughs> that's how we say we... Say I love you to each other for the first time. Then comes the play when I meant to go to him, but I can't because the play. So, um, he so we just um. So I invite my mum instead. I was gonna invite my best friend, but she's actually in it. So this story is a long story. This is gonna be a long video. Anyway. He 
he contacts my best friend because I talk about that and finds out her name and they get chatting and he gets advice from her um because I tell her everything absolutely everything I don't keep anything to myself I even told him a couple of times I would like to be proposed to even though we've only dating been dating each other for nearly a year so shy of a year but it's been like 10 and 11 months I think at this point so shy of a year and um and he forgets so he gets advice from my best friend my sister and um All right, and um, so I don't know that he's coming, but he 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 may he talks to his friends, who's part of the group, and says, "I actually need this long weekend off." I've and and the friends keep it quiet, but he tells the friends what he's planning on doing because the friends know about him having a girlfriend um, I've met them actually I've met all of them um, in person and I was it's like meeting a celebrity the rest of the friends I was like oh my god you play Prudence oh my god Ellen I was in awe I was like I, was, I met Mike I met Johnny I met everyone I was in awe I didn't speak, I was not myself, I was shy, I, but I got on well with everyone, basically. So, I didn't become a part of the group because I wanted Luke to have his own world and for me to have my own world. I didn't want our worlds to clash that back. I wanted him to have his own world, I have my own world. He can talk about me if he wants to, but I can talk about him as well. But I want the two worlds to be separate and he understands that and I'm okay with it as well when we're together we're together and then when we do our own YouTube videos we do our own YouTube videos um anyway um where was I going with this so yeah, I do uh, it's the day of the play and it's a nice, light-hearted play. I'm not really in it that much because, like I said, I'm just stepping in. Um, so I'm not really in it that much. Me and Kieran stay out of each other's way um, as much as we can so we can focus on the play. And we do. We focus on the play and then the play is done and everything. And after the play, a hand goes up. I'm like, okay, whose hand is that? I know that hand actually. Um, everyone's go and it says, "Can I have a word? Can I make an announcement, please?" And everyone goes shush. Everyone hushes. And I know that voice, Luke, obviously. So I know that voice. So I can't. We, there's two ways you can leave the stage. You can leave the stage this way or this way. And I leave the stage this way. Go onto the stage. And I know that voice. That's Luke, my boyfriend. And he makes a speech. And he comes onto the stage, and he's on the stage, and he stands, and he kneels next to me, and finishes with, "Will you marry me?" And I'm like, "Yes, I will." And we get engaged. So that was ending one. Ending two, I'm going to change it a little bit from in here. But the um. Why should I? It's because of the play bit. I'm going to take out the bit about the play. Because the play bit is hard hitting. And I don't want to add that to this. So I'm going to take out the bit about the play. And tell you about on ending two. So ending two. So timestamp is 1947 is when I'm going to start talking about, actually no it's not, so I'm still talking, I'm um, just making a note, 
to ten this timestamp is when I say ending to. So let's say twenty twenty. It's a timestamp that I'm gonna start talking second ending. So the first one is start as normal and look um okay, so I'll read from the diary. This story continues while me and Luke are seeing each other. But that's it. So part two, or different ending. This is how it goes. I am back stage, the same size as Kieran. I'm size 18. So sexy. My first costume makes me look gorgeous just before the play is starting is about to start Kieran tells me tells me remember when we were backstage last time and would kiss all the time I replied yes he gets close to me and kisses me. I push him away as I am seeing Luke. I walk away to the stairs. So I basically have left my side, which was yeah, here. So the cur I left this curtain. I went out the door because the door's not that far. And there's some stairs, but there's also some seating arrangements. So I'm there at the seats before the stairs. Um, I'm crying. And Jess, my sister, saw everything. So she follows me out. Um, the per one of the people in charge who was on my side makes an announcement saying the, the play is postponed but will be starting as soon as we can. There's just a little bit of a delay. Um, Kieran does try and say sorry but I just wanted a long time with Jess. So me and Jess go to the dressing room and she touches my makeup because I have makeup on for the play. Um, I then just focus on the play. Um, I'm scanning to get to the next bit because I don't want to talk about the play. Uh, the play ends with the song This Is Me um, because it's all about everyone struggles with autism um, and that's what I'm saying um, do people deal with things differently and we're all unique and so this is us it's uh, basically it's the disability anthem so that's why we sang that um, so after the song the whole class comes on and bows Kieran does try and stand next to me when we do the bow but I just keep walking away. Then the play ends. After the play, everyone wants to talk to me about what happened before the play. But I don't want to. When I do come out from backstage, I spot Luke. I hug and kiss him. I then get all my things together. Kieran wants to talk to me. Once I have everything, Stephen Mulhern, I don't know why I picked him, but I think because he makes me laugh. Stopped me and said, I loved your performance. I think what what I was thinking when I was thinking about why Stephen was he did In For A Penny in Newcastle. And he wanted to stay a couple of days. And so while he was in Newcastle, he um, wanted to see what plays were on and saw this. So that's why he's here. Um, here I have my number, I can help you 
be famous. He then leaves. Luke and I meet up with my mum, who also saw the play. She just asks what happened, and I whisper, as I didn't want to tell Luke just yet. Mum asks if I'm okay, and I say I am. Then we go upstairs, halfway because we are walking, and Luke asks what happened before the play. I kiss Luke. He got he got it that Kieran kissed me. I'm correcting myself because he's a different name in my diary. Kieran and Ruth were outside because Ruth was smoking. Luke shouts at Kieran. How dare you kiss the woman I love. I was shocked. But we never said that before. Kieran did try and say sorry, but I needed to talk to Luke. I turned to him and said, you what? You love me? He said, yes. I says, I love you too. We kiss. I turned to Kieran. I said, I don't want an apology as you will probably take it back. I am done with Spectrum. Done with you. All I want from you, I will probably not get. But it might help. It's everything you stole from me. Let's start with the money. Then see from there. It was... a. Oh, 600 but because of interest and distress it's up to a thousand then every uh, then everything else if you have already got rid or hooch ate it i want how much it meant to me in cost i'm going to go now to spend time with my with luke um, because he, I want this to be still be okay for children. Um, I'm going to spend some time with my man. I'll just stick with that. Um, I say something else, but it's, uh, I don't want to make this unsafe for children, but I just say something else. Luckily, we caught Stephen before he got in the taxi to ask for a lift as, it, as we find out that Stephen and Luke are staying at the same hotel while in the taxi Stephen asked Luke what room number he was in as he wanted to swap as he had one of the VIP rooms which we took him up on the offer after switching and setting in we get a call from Stephen saying, order whatever room service you want, I will pay. I thank him so much. After food, Luke has a question for me. I say yes. And that was the ending too. There is also bad points to story two, but I want to keep it safe for children. And there is a third ending, but like I say, I want to keep it safe for children. So, thank you for watching for this long. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. I'll call this Luke What If Story Ending 2 at 2020. Love yous.